Hi friends, welcome to Nestela's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make homemade biryani masala powder. Let's start. The ingredients are 1 spoon elaichi, 1 spoon pepper, 1 spoon shahi jeera, 4 nutmeg flowers or mace, half cup coriander seeds, 4 biryani leaves, 1 spoon cloves, 1 spoon jeera, 5 big coriander or bada elaichi, 1 nutmeg seed, 1.5 spoon cinnamon sticks cut into small pieces, 1.5 spoon kasuri methi, 5 star anise. Now let's start the process. Take a thick bottomed pan, turn on the stove and start frying all the ingredients one by one. First I have added 5 big cardamoms into the pan and now I am adding cinnamon sticks. The entire process must happen in low flame. This is the first step. I added nutmeg flowers and now I am adding green elaichi or cardamom or whatever you call them. The same way I am adding all the ingredients one by one into the same pan. When I was telling the ingredients list, I told one spoon. So this is the spoon that I have used, the soup spoon. So using the same spoon, I have measured all the ingredients that I have shown you. See, one by one, I am adding all these ingredients into this pan and I am frying them. Once again, remember, you must keep the flame in low throughout the procedure. Remember, these must not be over fried. I am adding coriander seeds at the last because they get burnt quickly. You must fry these ingredients only until the raw smell disappears and the aroma from the spices starts coming up. See, now I am crushing the nutmeg seed into 2-3 pieces and I am adding it. Now cut the biryani leaves also into small pieces and add it. Now fry it once again and turn off the flame. And make sure that before you grind these masalas, they are cold. And also the mixer jar that you are using, it should also be dried well and kept ready to grind these masalas. See, now all my ingredients have turned cold. I am adding it into a dry mixer jar and I am making a fine powder out of it. Just before grinding, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and a little salt. Here I am using rock salt. If you want to use pink salt or powdered salt, it's your choice. See, now our masala powder is ready and this will stay good for 3 to 4 months. And whenever you make such kind of powders that you have to store, always use glass container so that the freshness retains for longer time. This biryani masala not only tastes good for biryanis, but whenever you make any non-veg item, you can just add one spoon for that enhanced taste for your curry. Hope you liked it. Do try the recipe and if you like it, share it with your friends and family members. Thank you for watching Nestela's Kitchen. Bye.